Wow. <laughs> I'd like to start by saying wow. I can't believe this day has come. We've worked so hard. And we are so grateful that everyone has chosen to bless the, to spend the day with us. Honorable keynote speakers, yes speakers, knowledgeable and accredited coaches, our prestigious sponsors, our endorsers. You know, it's by the next as a movement has association with other partners where we are inspiring people. Whether it's in leadership, whether it's in management, we are just saying we are inspiring the next person. Ladies and gentlemen, let me say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm rather nervous, but you know, this is really necessary because when you are passionate about something, you know, nerves are part of it. I want to thank God because nothing is possible without now, as you can see, I'm wearing green. Yes. 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 I'm wearing green yes. because I'd like to be the first person to wish you guys happy spring day. I'm half a day early, but being early is something that I just like to train with. So I want to wish you guys a happy spring day in advance. And the reason why I'm wearing green is because today I really wanted to acknowledge and celebrate growth. As we're sitting here, we all care about growth, we care about harmony, we care about nature, and more importantly, life. Let's not run away from it. The color green also represents money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and everything we are continuously doing is with the goal to achieve financial freedom. Let's not run away from it. Yeah. So, um, as Katie already alluded to, I am a gangster. Yes, no. <laughs> Not a gangster as the one you know. We are creating future here because we are overwriting the definition of gangster, which is somebody who does bad things. We are saying a gangster. Yes. All of us in this room are stars. A gang is representation of a family at work. In this room, we are saying everybody is a star because you excel in something that is unique to yourself. Yeah. This is why we say gangster. Mm. So we need to move away from gang leaders and, and start saying everybody is a gangster in their own right. Mm. Now, there is a certain word that I have become a very big fan of. That word is a crowd. Every time we use the word crowd, we're referring to festivals, music. I also want to establish a time when we start using the word crowd, when we talk about empowerment. Let me tell you why I'm passionate about the word a crowd. A crowd is a group of people who are gathered with a common goal. Now, the beauty about a crowd is that as they are gathered in this mission, guess what? They do not see color, they do not see age, they do not see gender, they do not see religion. They are gathered with a common goal. As we are seated here in this room, we are gathered with a common goal. We all know the goal. I've been flooding your timelines. <laughs> so, most of you know the goal. What is the goal? But in our inspiring other people, what are we doing, guys? We are chasing our dreams. Why? Because we are fetching the line that our hearts and souls desire. So. That is just a little bit about today. And then I wanted you guys to give yourselves a round of applause. Guess what? what? In South Africa, we say, <laughs> You are chasing your, your future, guys. Please give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> today, we have literally decided to stop being passengers, right? Yeah. We are becoming drivers, we are becoming pilots to our own journey to success. Now let me touch on Inspire the Next Movement. What is Inspire the Next Movement? A lot of people say, why, do you, why, do you, why did you add movement? There is a, a, literally a good reason for this. Guys, a movement is something that keeps moving. Yeah. We want this movement to move. And touch the next, and the next, and the next. Guys, it's a movement. But just to summarize Inspire the Next. Inspire the Next is a platform that was created to connect dream achievers with dream chasers. Now, in the last 10 years, I've actually learned that if you want to go far, and if you want to go fast, fast meaning relatively faster than an average somebody, you need to stand on the shoulders of yeah. giants. Yeah. 
And this is what inspired the next story. We are seeing dream achievers. Please, they are passionate about sharing the secrets. So we are taking their dream chases, we're putting them together with dream achievers. Now, I want to just touch on a little something. We, as South Africans, need to raise our level of consciousness to the fact that together, we are stronger. Together, we are stronger. This is what today. This is what this is what today is about. Now, inspire the next has a vision. It has a vision. And the vision is basically made up of two key goals. The first goal being the first goal being discovering your authentic self. Guys, we need to discover our authentic selves. For the simple reason that society has so many expectations. And we were born a certain way. The way God created us. You need to discover that authentic self, guys. Because in that self lies your strength. Me, now people say I've got verbal diarrhea. And yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. But guess what? So, um, discovering your authentic self, guys, is very important because in your authentic self lies your strengths. If you want to be great, you need to strengthen your strengths and be aware of your weaknesses. In corporates, for many of us who, who work in corporates, you will see there's a lot of initiatives that are put in place. Why? To correct our weaknesses. This does not work. To be great, you need to strengthen your strengths. For your weaknesses, you need to have mitigating measures. Is this not correct? So I also wanted to say, who is the audience for Inspire the Next? Because a lot of people saw that the panel is made up of leading female coaches. And then they started saying, is the movement about women? I said, no. We all know if you empower a woman, you empower a nation. And that's why for the launch, we felt so passionate about using women. Leading females in industry, all walks of lives. Now, Inspire the Next target audience is actually all ages, men and women. All ages, men and women. With priority on the next generation, for obvious reasons, right? Actually, Inspire the Next has adopted 10 girls, right? But I think today we have three girls present. Maybe the other girls are still on their way. At some point in the program, we will take time to just give them a round of applause because they do not only care about empowering themselves, they care about taking the knowledge and sharing it with their peers. And this is what Inspire the Next is about. Now let's talk about the mission. So we have the vision, right? Mm -hmm. Discover yourself. Once you know your strengths, we want you to unleash your unlimited potential. We all have unlimited potential, believe it or not. And it is said how a lot of people pass without even tapping into their God-given talents. So these are the two key goals. If you know yourself, you know your strength, you can unleash your potential. Now, the mission of Inspire the Next is we want to promote, we want to encourage, and we want to support entrepreneurship with the intention to reduce poverty. Guys, we can see times are hard. Entrepreneurship has to rise. Whether we like it or not, entrepreneurship has to rise. One of the reasons why we're doing the movement is because we also want to improve our disadvantaged communities. There is so much we can do for them. Now, I know that someone is sitting in the room and saying, Lebo, you want to be great, you want to be shy, you want to know your authentic self, you want to unleash. <laughs> yes, I want, but I don't want to be great alone. Yeah. I want to be great together. Yeah. Now, the reason that I am so passionate about inspiring other people is because if you look at the prevailing conditions in South Africa at the moment, we have gone past a time where we wait for government to create jobs for us. We have passed even a time where having a qualification is adequate. In my time, having a degree was actually it, you were sure. I did engineering, I was female, I was black, it was guaranteed. We have passed that time. With the fourth industrial revolution, it has even become a thing. So Inspire the Next is bringing to you tools, procedures, processes, methods, coaches, mentors, everything you need to prepare for these opportunities that are coming in the future. Now, I'm going to touch on a topic that's a little bit sensitive. Inspire the Next Movement wants to increase your chances of being lucky. What if I told you we can do it and we are going to do it? Let me say it again. Inspire the Next wants to increase your chances of being lucky. 
You know, we look at people that are successful and we tend to say, oh, she or he is so lucky. Don't we say that? Yeah. Oh, woman, man, is so lucky. Oh, yes, we're not going to go back. Guys, there is no such thing as luck. Luck is that simple moment when preparation meets an opportunity. This is how we are going to increase your chances of being lucky. We are going to prepare you accordingly for the dreams that you aspire to reach. Now, I want everybody in this room to pledge that going forward, you are going to learn to turn obstacles and obstructions into opportunities and options. Guys, please cross your hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, make a promise. Going forward, we are going to learn to turn obstacles and obstructions into opportunities and options. Right? I'm not going to leave it there. I am going to share recipes on how we can do this. Look, I personally have taken the journey, so I'm in a position to share some of the things that really work for me. Now, how do we do this? There are four key steps that I advise. So as an engineer, we use this word optimization a lot. Optimize, optimize, cost saving, efficiency, and the likes. So I wanted to say, if we are going to learn to turn obstacles into opportunities, we need to do the following. There is a notebook on the, ta on the chair. Guys, please, there is a pen. I would like you guys to write this down. Now, it speaks about the four powers. And some of these things we have been taught from day one, but at the time, we don't understand it. The first one is the power of the tongue. Ooh. Speak only things of things you want. Yes. 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 Speak only of the things you want. Yes. Power number two, power of the subconscious. Yes. Think only things you want to see. Yeah. Think only things you want to see. Then there's the power of the mindset. We need to learn to condition our mind for abundance. Get away from lack. Forget of what is missing in your life. Focus on what God has blessed you with. Condition your mindset for abundance. Then the last one. Excited. <laughs> and I could dance. I love to dance, but I can't dance. But the last one really excites me. The power of the imagination. We are sitting here today. Course. We set months and weeks imagining this very day. And guess what? This very day has arrived. So I wanted to say, as part of the power of imagination, is we all hold within us the power to call into existence the future that our hearts and spirits desire. Amen. May, may I say that again? Because English never does that. <laughs> we all hold within us the power to call into existence the future that our hearts and souls desire. Now, somebody sitting in the room and saying, you know that thing was saying, easier said than done. This is correct. I would also like to share another secret that you can practice to win in these four steps. It is called the power of of disruption. The power of disruption. Whenever you see your mind drifting towards negativity, drifting towards complaining, drifting towards, you need to learn to interrupt yes. the mind yes. and replace that thought with a positive thought. Yes. Now, why am I emphasizing protection of this, you know, the power of positivity? It's because when you think positively, you increase your vibrations. In engineering, we say it's oscillating and synchronized with vibrations are very critical. Vibrations. The higher your vibration, the more you attract what you want. The higher your vibration, the more you become what you think. The higher your vibration, eventually you become what you think and you attract what you are. Remember somebody once said, show me your top five friends and I'll show you. So at this point, you have become what you think, you have become the future you desire, and you attract like minds. So they say birds of a feather flock together. Now, the reason why vibrations work so well is because where you focus is where your energy flows. Guys, have you ever noticed when you focus on a problem, <laughs> where you focus is where your energy flows. So you have to be very careful what you choose to focus 
fine. Now I'm coming to the end of my talk, and in closing, I want to just say, I want to toast to four things. As much as we don't have champagne, <laughs> if I had my way, we would have a nice champagne in the room. Yeah. We've been celebrating a yeah. sister. Yeah. I'd like everybody to just grab the bottle of water out of their chest. <laughs> please, please, yeah. 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 grab your bottle of water. I want us to toast. I want us to cheers to four things. These things are very critical if South Africa is going to arise again. The first one is investing in oneself. That's true. The fact that you are here, you have chosen to invest in yourself. I want to say, ladies and gentlemen, you are the biggest asset you own. You have chosen to invest in yourself. Amen. The second one, empowering oneself and empowering others. Yes. Yes. Then the third one is freedom. Everything we do, we wake up, we go to work. It's all in the effort of chasing freedom. As I already mentioned, the critical one is financial freedom. Now, I'll tell you why I took on this journey of discovering myself and unleashing my full potential. <laughs> because I would like to come to a time where I stop living to work. Can I just come to a time where I work to live? Yeah. Yeah. This is why inspiring the next unleashing your potential is so critical. We all want to work to live and not live to work. <laughs>